Welcome back to another tech video. I'm James and this time we're going to take a look at the technology that goes into WTB rims. Here at WTB we make a load of different rims including an extensive aftermarket range and a wide range of rims that you'll only find on complete bikes too. All of our aftermarket rims are tubeless compatible and these days the majority of our OE rims will be as well. You can check your rims for tubeless compatibility by looking for the TCS logo. If you see the logo, you'll just need to tape it up and you're good to go. Now, before we look at specific features you can find on select rim models, let's quickly talk about the technology that all of our TCS rims have in common. Firstly, we've got the bead shelves. Our TCS rims feature the bead lock system to ensure a tight fit and optimal bead retention. Coming down from the bead shelves and you've got the on-ramp. The on-ramp provides a consistent fit between the rim and the tyre for easy inflation and also makes it easier to slide the tyre bead into the rim valley. The rim valley is what we call the channel running down the middle, which basically provides a perfect tyre bead relief area and makes fitting or removal a lot easier. The final touch on our TCS rims is the solid strip. This durable rim strip protects your tubeless tape by covering up the spoke holes, so make sure you tape over it when you're setting up your tubeless system. Now, let's have a closer look at some of the tech that's unique to select rim models. First on the list are reinforced spoke beds. This means we've substantially strengthened the area around the spoke hole to create an overall stronger wheel build. Then we have asymmetric rims. The most obvious thing you'll notice with asymmetric rims is that the spoke drillings don't run down the center of the rim. By offsetting the spoke drillings to one side, it allows the wheel to be built with equal length spokes, which in turn help equalize spoke tension, and the result is a more durable wheel overall. Next, we've got our 4D angled spoke drillings. It is quick and easy just to drill the spoke holes perpendicularly all the way around a rim, but if you're looking for reliability, then that's not optimal. It is a little more time consuming, but by drilling spoke holes at the same angle that the spoke and nipple leave the rim, you spread the load equally, which again, improves durability. You may also see the term I-beam being used when describing some of our rim models. The I-beam is this little part here that joins the two inner surfaces of the rim together and it helps spread loads and increase strength. The I-beam does add a little weight though, so you'll only find this on our tougher MTB and e-bike rims. Okay, this last section isn't really technology based, but we thought it would be helpful nonetheless. You'll often see other numbers and markers stamped on rims, so this is an explanation of what they mean. First, we've got the technical rim size. All of our rims have an ETRTO measurement, both stamped on the rim itself and noted on the product page on WTB.com. The three digit number refers to the rim and tire size and the smaller two digit number will tell you the width of the inside of the rim just where the tire beads will sit. These numbers are the only ones you need when choosing your next tire. Each rim will also have an ERD number and this is the measurement that wheel builders will need when working out what spoke lengths they need for their builds. You need to know the spoke hole count to make sure your rim and your hub are compatible and any asymmetric rim will have an offset number and this will tell wheel builders how far off center the spoke drillings are. That's all for now. Cheers for watching and see you on the next video.